हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर के सी टी एग्जाम ओके सो येस्टडे एज यू ऑल नो पी यू सी बोर्ड एग्जाम मार्क्स वेर अनाउंसड सो आई एम गेटिंग दिस क्वेरीज अ लॉट सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग मी सर आई हैव गॉट टू हंड्रेड टू सेवेंटी मार्क्स इन माई फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स इन माई बोर्ड एग्जाम सो हाउ मच आई शूड स्कोर इन माई के सी टी सो दैट आई गेट अ रैंक बिलो फाइव थाउजेंड और अ रैंक बिलो थाउजेंड दीज आर द वेरी कॉमन क्वेरीज दैट आई एम गेटिंग ओके बट वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू tell you is don't waste your time thinking about this many students have got distracted and they have stopped studying okay they are wasting their time but if you are a very uh, intelligent student if you are wise use your brain don't waste this time this time is very important utilize this time hardly 7 days are left for your exam so revise so you can revise the formula solve the questions you can watch my videos i have put i have posted videos on most repeated question you can go through those videos look at the question pause the video try to solve it and if you are not getting the solution look at the solution so put your energy in revising the formula and trying to solve more and more questions so that should be your thing and stop thinking about this that is the reason why i am i am making this video and i will be trying to keep it as much short as possible okay many students have many queries okay so i'll i'm going to address them each address each one of them okay first we will understand how what is the weightage for each of the exams so first part is weightage for the exam if there is engineering rank is to be given by kea how it is calculated so out of 100% 50% age is given to your puc board exam so how much you do in your puc board exam and 50% is given to your kcet exam for engineering rank for engineering rank only physics chemistry and maths marks will be taken into consideration here also what you score in physics chemistry and maths here also physics chemistry and maths only so depending on different for bsc for uh, other courses for pharmacy it is different for engineering it is this combination okay and the weightage is 50% here and 50% here so i will show you an example and tell you how it is done let's take a particular case and calculate exactly so let's take puc board exam marks so this this is already you know you already know this in our case let's take particular case say in physics this student has scored 85 out of 100 and in chemistry 90 out of 100 and in uh, maths uh, maths he has scored 95 out of 100 okay he has scored good in mathematics so the total comes out to be 270 marks okay in kcet 45 40 42 127 out of 180 so how is it calculated so see listen carefully so here 300 marks so 300 marks is 50% but he has scored 270 marks 270 marks is how much you just need to cross multiply here 270 into 50 divided by 300 so you will get 45 45 percentage here 180 marks is 50 percentage so but this student has scored 127 marks so this is 127 into 50 divided by 180 so if you calculate this i have already calculated this it is 35.27 percentage so the total comes out to be total is 45 plus 35.27 which is nothing but 70 80.27 right am i right yeah 80.27 percentage so based on this you will be given a rank kcet rank so yeah that is the thing moving on so the ma- the ma- the common query the students have is sir i have got 280 marks or so how much i should score in my kcet so to get below 5000 so i have created a rank prediction tool which you can use to find the rank so let me make it very clear before we go to that part so this is the rank prediction tool that i have built this will not give you the accurate rank it will it is just an approximation nothing in the world can predict the 100% accurate rank okay because we don't know it will all depend on the difficulty of the exam how the students are performing still the exam is not happened so use this tool as just to get a rough idea about how much you have to score in your kct exam so let's take an example PUC board exam marks. You already know how much you have scored in your PUC board, physics, chemistry, and maths. Let's take the total comes out to be two seventy five, 
and KCT marks. KCT marks we can try numbers. Let's take 110 marks. Okay, let's see what is the rank it is predicting. So for PUC board of 275 marks and 110 marks in KCT, the predicted rank is 4818. But this is not the exact rank. Your actual rank may vary in the range of 3800 to 6318. So this is just an approximation. Don't make any assumptions on the, based on this. Because you, you students are coming up with this kind of doubts, that is why this tool I have created. So, you can check out for other, other things also. 270, maybe KCT marks you can increase. You can increase it to 115. Now, check what is the rank. So now, the rank is 3081. So, the rank has significantly improved. Okay. So, this is how you can try out other combinations and check out the rank so that you will get an idea about how much I have to score in my KCT. Okay, if I score up to 130 or 140, I can get, I can get this much of rank or this much of rank. Okay, so use this as just a prediction tool that your actual rank will vary. This is not 100% accurate. I am telling it to you again. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. You, you got all your doubts cleared. And one more thing I am telling you, don't waste your time watching videos. You will find many videos on rank versus marks, so and so. Please don't watch them. For you, time is very important. Utilize it to only study. Once your exams are done, you will have plenty of time. That time you can explore YouTube. There are many channels where this, th these things will be discussed. So you can go and watch them. Okay, That time you will have lot of time. But for now, please don't waste your time. That is all. If this video was helpful to you, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. The link to this website is provided in the pinned comment. Okay, There you can find the link to this website and you can go there and check. You can also follow my uh, most repeated question series where we are discussing most repeated question from every chapter. So you can go and watch those videos, pause the video, try to solve the question on your own and if you are not able to, you can watch my video. That with that, that will significantly improve your rank. Okay, that is all. Thank you.